Hello everyone! Today something different. Finnish object, definitely. But it is crochet work. Ba -dam, ba -dam. It won't be perfect, definitely. I crocheted a basket. What's the idea? I had an idea to create a basket for my hair dryer. This one. Because it lived on my shelf without anything, anyone, and it would be really nice to have a handle to take it out, pull it on the side, and hold it and take whatever I want, right? So I figure out it shouldn't be that difficult, should it? First things first, I gathered some tools, and the first thing I thought about that it would be perfect for my basket. 100% wool and to be more precise Irish wool from, from Kerry Woolen Mules and this is cream colour. But as you could probably notice I started with the green and this is lime green to be more precise and this is only the bit that I have left. It wasn't a full ball or anything like that, some of my leftovers. So I figure out Let's do this. Next thing I had to get was a crochet hook. And I have a set Tunisian crochet hooks, things, thingies. I picked four and a half millimeters, which is US size seven. And I used some stitch markers. Kitty. So how the Tunisian hook looks like. It looks like interchangeable needle. It has a hook, it has a space to put a cable in. So I had a few attempts. I really wanted to do it easier way. I figure out first attempt here on my lovely photo is and was working quite well. No pattern whatsoever. I just figure out I know how to do chain better. So I can do like I think single crochet stitch or something like that. So I did that and I figure out that obviously we have four corners so I would have to add some extra stuff over there. So I did that and I had two nipples. It actually looks like two nipples. So no, I frogged that and I went to attempt two. And with attempt two, I was, yes, I've done that. I think I know what I did wrong. So let's start all over. And this is what it was. It kind of got wavy. So, uh, but no worries guys, I know, I know, I know what you're saying. I should use a pattern. But I just wanted to have a play with the yarn and see how it goes. You know, sometimes it ends up that way. <laughs> but I didn't want to let go. I really want to power through it. And thank you so much to my uh, Instagram followers, viewers, whatever, because some ladies were pushing me and saying how to do stuff and do things and so on and so on. But because I was a little bit, you know, two attempts and I wanted to go in the round and it really didn't work out the way I wanted, let's face it, it was a time for me to go side to side up. And I don't know why, but the ball went on and I figured out I will do Tunisian crochet for just the bottom. So I did, I did 15, I think, as I remember it right, 15 uh, chain stitches or something like that. And then I was working up and down. No worries, it's a one minute video, I think, how to actually crochet the, this stitch. It looks lovely. It looks like a basket, like real basket. I was so happy with it. I went up and I decided then that I will go in a round. Obviously my in a round thing, beginner, blame me, yes, blame me, but yeah, beginner, I just went around and the only thing I would say, I think it looks a little bit, I know it's something wrong with it. No worries, don't tell me. I know, I know. And I know also that I wasn't putting the um, the hook into a first stitch. I was doing every second so you could see that line over here. I can show you that. So if you're a crocheter, you have a big laugh now. Remember your beginnings. If you're better, you're great. Yeah, lesson learned and I ran out of yarn and I add this lovely cream because I want to have it a little bigger and I decided in the middle because it was all going to the sides, I would just put a kind of handle. So halfway through the circle, I just went this way, finish here, and went that way. So I did a circle overall. So I really like it. So let's check it. So I'm sliding it in for my hair dryer. 
why not? As you can see, I am not a professional. No! <laughs> Just play with the yarn from time to time, use different tools, go with something that you don't have a clue about, and be in the moment. Lost yourself like a child. You don't know what to do. But if you end up to make something quite beautiful, be proud of it. Because at the end of the day, you didn't have a clue. And you made something. I think that's all. I'm happy that you're here. And I can share stuff with you. So don't forget to share your finished object with me on Instagram. Hashtag me knitting I love. And uh, yeah, I'm here for you. So see you till the next one. Bye. All useful links down below. I always cut yarn so I can use that tail to uh, fix my errors. So a tip for you, just in case.